Jasmine Haynes, a big guy, strong guy, always on a front foot. Front foot means like really front foot. Doesn't matter. Me and Bakar in '93 were bowling quick. Uh, we were running in in West Indies, bowling bouncers, everything. You know what troubled me against him was as a bowler was he used to come on a front foot and with our pace he used to pull from there. So he used to kill our yoker. Because if you are a batsman, a great batsman, you would know if you have to kill a yorker, swinging yorker, you have to play everything on a front foot. If you are on a back foot, after a bouncer and you go on on a back foot a bit and if I and Vakar bowled a yorker, you had no chance as a batsman. So he knew that. So his reflexes were very quick. And he was very positive. He wasn't like Sunny Bhai. He was totally opposite. He was very attacking player. Anything short, anything wide, he will hit you for four. That's why I felt very uncomfortable against him as a bowler. But he had a huge heart. He was never scared of a bouncer. He was always there uh, in front of you, in front of your eyes as a bo- as a batsman. I remember the first game I played against him was Sharjah. In a big game against West Indies. And I was uh, we scored 200 plus runs. And Imran and Mudassar uh, Nazar told me that, okay, don't give him width. He's a front foot player. Sharjah, they're slow wickets. Just bowl length and bring the ball back in from off, middle off, middle off. Don't give him room. He will play across the line and you probably have a chance to get him out as a leg before a bowl. And that's what exactly happened. Second over, I think he played on drive and I bowled him. But after that, he never played that shot to me. He was so, so intelligent as a batsman. He never played that shot, shot for me. That's why the great players, especially in cricket, the batsmen, then don't make the same make, uh, mistake twice to the bowler, same bowler. You know, Gordon was also one of the great players. I rarely played against Gordon. I think uh, I got him out uh, uh, in Guyana, in Gully, if I'm not mistaken. It was a long time ago. But uh, then he got, then he retired. I played one day cricket against him, but Haynes, he was there until 95, 96. So he played us all the way, in, uh, you know, when, when me and Vakar were at our peak. And uh, uh, obviously, uh, with him, never pitch him up. If you're going to bowl a short delivery, it has to be just outside, off stump. Just somewhere around here, as a, as a right-hander batsman. If it's here or somewhere here, he will definitely play a pull shot and will punish you every time. And that's cricket. When you get hit for four on a, on a, on a bouncer as a fastball or on a pull, it's, a, it's, a, it's a, what you call it. It's a psychologically drawback for you as a bowler. So you make sure, I made sure if I'm bowling a bouncer, it's going across him and it should be a certain, a certain height as well. No, just close to the stumps because he always uh, came as a number one batsman, as an opener. So always close to the wicket. I never tried so much uh, uh, using the crease with the new ball because I used to wait for the uh, ball to be old because me and Vakar never concentrated for first four or five years on a new ball. We always were waiting to ball, waiting for the ball to get reverse swing. So we used to run in after say 25, 30 overs new ball. Idea was to just contain and then attack when the ball starts reversing, especially in our part of the world.